dude, what are we gonna do with this thing? I didn't want to come to this and I've been putting this off forever and ever and ever. In reality, I should have done this at the beginning of this Honda Pilot project. I'm going to do a sonar compression test. I have something really exciting to show you behind me. I got new cold air intake for the Pilot. And when I say I got one, I mean I made one. <laughs> I took my old Unitronic filter here and made some PVC pipe that goes right into the throttle body. It looks a little bit like an oversized Canon L series lens. All right, let's make this official, huh? With a constant aperture of f2.8 and image stabilization, this bad boy has flow. I'm still trying to diagnose the misfire on bank one. I had a hunch that it could be the catalytic converter that was giving me the issues, or a combination of the CATs and O2 sensors. So here, I'm removing the brake assembly in order to get at the CV axle, which has to come off if I'm going to remove the catalytic converter. Here, you can see that the CV boot tore open and flooded the control arm and subframe with oily gunk, so I power washed it. And then I was finally able to disconnect the rest. I'm about to take the CV axle out and listen to this. I'm gonna pull on it, ready? <laughs> From there, I was able to remove the axle and although I don't show it in the video, I removed the VTEC solenoid and cleaned out the little oil filter in there. And then it was time to cut some seized exhaust pieces off to get at the cat. This is tough to do. I don't have the proper kind of like sawzall for this. Fuck, oh, that was hot. Why did I touch that? Yes, got it. Let me just show you why I did this. I cut off the front of the Y pipe here. This is the first cat on, well, I guess this is bank two here. Then the other part of the Y pipe here, because the heat shield for the CV axle, the, the bolts to get at it are behind all this stuff here. I thought it might be easier than trying to get these bolts off right now, even though I'm gonna have to get these off anyway. I don't know. It was hard, but I did it. And only mildly scratched the oil pan. I'm gonna try and get, this off now, without cutting this. Maybe it's not the best torch, but it worked on that bolt up there. I'm just, I'm getting this done so slowly. <laughs> okay, so after a couple hours of trying to get the catalytic converter out, I gave up and decided just to replace the O2 sensors. All right, I just did the upstream and downstream O2 sensor on the catalytic converter on bank one. And then we got this bad boy here, the L series intake. Mm -hmm. We are gonna see how that sounds. You ready for this? I'm ready. All right, I bet the battery's dead. <laughs> okay, I forgot to I forgot to plug in the upstream O2 sensor. So <laughs> let's do that. <laughs> sensors this one's like burnt and like warped on this side so these were absolutely trash is it going to help sure maybe i don't know how it was Till next time. Till next time. There's a really scary looking ground here that might be causing some voltage issues. I'm, I do not know a lot about electrics and cars. Can this cause a high voltage issue in the rocker arm, question mark? As you can see, that ground is very scary. Yep, it's a little, little freaky, huh? Oh, it sprayed like mama's hair. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. Nice. Here we go. Let's at least see how it starts up. It's still running like this. 
flashing engine light. So, but it's it's leaking oil now. Love that for you. Yep. <laughs> Why? Recent discovery and kind of a shocking discovery. This is not old engine oil. This is transmission fluid. It smells kind of like crayons, burnt crayons. So one of the transmission lines here must have either come undone or rotted out. So let's see, sorta, kinda-ish, looks a little rotted. Dude, what are we gonna do with this thing? Okay, I didn't want to come to this and I've been putting this off forever and ever and ever. In reality, I should have done this at the beginning of this Honda Pilot project. I'm going to do a sonar compression test. My friend Craig, who is actually a Honda technician, recommended this to me. And basically what this means is that if the cylinders aren't holding compression, then the piston rings are worn out and the engine is basically no good because it would need a rebuild and there's no way that we're rebuilding this engine. <laughs> ah, nuts. Crappiest thing is if this engine is toast, <laughs> what am I going to do with this awesome custom made L series intake? <laughs> got our compression tester here. This end plugs into where the spark plug goes into uh, and then I crank the car. But first I have to unplug the fuel pump, fuse, and then make sure none of the spark plugs are firing. Let's just unplug the ignition coils. Wait, this ignition coil wasn't plugged in? Just wait a damn second. Don't laugh at me. Just laugh with me. Here goes nothing. Wow, it's actually running a lot better. VTEC! Oh, there goes the check engine light. Okay. All right, cylinder compression test, let's do it. Smells like burning substances. I don't know what kind of substance, but it smells like it's burning. <whistles> Proceed to take spark off of spark plugs. Number one, right there. All right. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it out. Yep, so just, just crank it over until I say stop, okay? I'll yell at you. I stop. Okay. Beautiful. So that cylinder was 210 PSI. So we're gonna go to cylinder three now, which we know is misfiring. That spark plug's pretty charred. Let's see what it's like for compression. All right, you're good. Oh boy. Well, that's our issue. 60 PSI. They said to pour some oil into it, into the cylinder, and then see if it bumps up the compression. And if it does, then it's your piston rings. If it doesn't, then it's your valves. This is a kind of a long hose. <laughs> we'll I'm gonna have to keep it up like this. Yep. All right, just, yeah, just a little. All right, that's good. Yep. All right, you're good. Um, I think it's the valves. Pretty sure this is gonna be the last video on this Honda Pilot because, so here's my thought process. I could do the valve replacement. It would take me a long time. It would probably take me a week worth of labor because uh, I'm not experienced. But then let's just say after the engine's running fine, uh, putting all this work into it, putting a little bit more money into it, we have the leaking transmission lines and that transmission fluid looks like dirt <laughs> it looks so bad so i i don't know the inside of the transmission is probably pretty bad um and also the rear differential i don't think the the fluids ever been changed so if i put all that work into the engine there's no guarantees that this is going to have four-wheel drive meanwhile this is just sitting here in the driveway wouldn't you rather see me just give this back and um get another project car or something as tempting as it is to to want to keep working on this i don't think it is worth it but who knows maybe i could throw that broken cv axle back in here and, and maybe eric the owner of this will take it into a sand pit and just 
freaking destroy it for a video. So if that's the case, then I guess you will see this again on the channel. <laughs> but until then, this is uh, the Honda Pilot's final goodbye. Oh, the horn doesn't work either. <laughs> Say goodbye, Honda Pilot. The shit lit. That's what we called it. All right, take care now. Bye-bye then. What? Yeah. Oh, look at this. What is that? This thing is heavy. Oh, thanks, Bob. Wow, what can it be? Mmm. Wow, is this is this a new CV axle? You guys ain't seen the last of this pilot.